What is up everybody? Welcome back. All right, we're gonna try to make this one a really quick video today. I even have you guys on the vlog camera, which is something that I don't do very often because I'm an idiot for even having this video idea. So I wanna keep it short and I don't wanna hold you guys too long. But the other day, I got curious if a steel toe boot could stop a bullet. Don't ask me how I got to thinking about this. But I got online and I was gonna look it up and I stopped myself and decided to just come out here and try it for ourselves. So I'm sure there's other videos and information out there on this, but I wanted to come out, bring you guys out here and give this a shot. So we have a few different boots out here ranging from what I would assume is probably the weaker up to the strongest and we're gonna shoot these with a few different calibers and see how they do. So obviously they're made to withstand some like pretty heavy drops and falls and stuff like that, but can they stop bullets? Let's find out. All right, so the first boot that we have is what's called a composite toe. And I would assume that this is not quite as strong as a real steel toe. It's definitely a lot lighter weight. So we're gonna start with this first and see how it does. It's starting to sprinkle out here and I'm getting water all over my camera. So hopefully it stops. All right, we're gonna start with the 22 long rifle. It's a small target for me to hit with a little pistol like this. So hopefully I can get it. It would kind of suck if the 22 went straight through this and we didn't get it to stop anything. But here is the entrance hole from our 22 long rifle right there. Obviously a really small hole, but I don't feel an exit hole in there and I definitely don't feel a bullet. So it looks like it did stop our 22 long rifle. Sorry about the ring guys, it's getting all over the lens. If it don't stop after this, I'm gonna have to pause for a little bit until this sprinkling stops. All right, let's try the nine millimeter out of the Glock 17. All right, there's the entrance hole from our nine millimeter, and you guys will probably not be able to see this, but I can actually see some copper down in there from what looks like our bullet. So let's see if it went all the way through. It definitely feels like it bulged it out in there, but I do not feel an exit hole. Yeah, that bullet did not go through. Like I said, I can kind of see it down in the hole where it looks like it stopped it, and I mean, it definitely bulged it out in there, so it would probably break your toes, but it did not go through. So it stopped our nine millimeter too. All right, let's try the 45 ACP out of the Smith & Wesson Shield. So I thought the nine millimeter was gonna rip straight through it, but it stopped that. So theoretically, it should stop the 45, which is a bigger, slower bullet. So let's see. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so here's the entrance hole from our 45 ACP, and I can feel where that toe kind of gives now, like it almost dislodged the steel toe in there. But feeling inside the boot, again, there's no exit hole. <laughs> it didn't go through. It did, you know, leave a, a huge bulge in there, and it just looks like it, it kind of, you know, knocked the steel toe loose inside the boot. So I might try to find something that I can shove down in there so that if it does go through or at least maybe help it to not move the steel toe back inside the boot and see the results that way. So I gotta say, I'm impressed. I did not expect it to stop anything past a 22 really. So I stepped back a little bit and now we're gonna try the 545 by 39 out of the AK-74. This is going about 3000 feet per second. So this should be uh, pretty tough for it to stop. So that was actually a new boot. It was the same shoe, just the other foot. So I wanted to give us a fresh, you know, steel toe to start with since we kind of knocked that other one out of there. But I had a cinder block underneath it that was kind of propping it up. And I saw that just poof into a big cloud of smoke. So I think that our rifle went straight through. But here is the entrance hole on the front of it. It's almost too small for you to even see, but that is our entrance hole. And then actually, if you look at the bottom, you can see there's an exit hole right there. <laughs> so it definitely went all the way through. And even looking on the inside, you can see there's a giant hole on the insole too. So, I mean, I can feel in here and it's just so mangled and so tore up that it's kind of hard for me to feel anything, but I just feel a giant hole on the insole and on 
the back of the steel toe. So it went straight through our composite, but that actually did a little bit better than I thought it would. Like I said, I didn't think that it would stop anything other than a, a 22 really. So let's get out a steel toe, a real steel toe, and see if it does any better. All right guys, since the last one did so much better than I thought it would, we're going straight to the big daddy. This is the most heavy duty steel toe that I have, and it is literally at least twice the weight of the other one. It's a real steel toe, and it even has this heavy like tarsal cover, I think it's called, that's also like a steel plate to cover the bones on the top of your foot. So this should be uh, quite a bit stronger than the other one. But I don't know, I was kind of wrong about the composite toe, so let's see how our steel toe does. And once again, we're starting with the 22 long rifle. So there's the entrance hole from the 22 on our steel toe. And reaching in there, yeah, it didn't even bulge it out on the inside, so 22 definitely did not go all the way through. Let's try the 9mm. So there's our entrance hole from the 9mm right next to the 22. Actually about the same size on the entrance hole, which is kind of weird. And I do feel a dent, like a little bulge on the steel but definitely did not go all the way through. So it stopped our nine millimeter and I'm actually gonna skip the 45 ACP this time because if it stops a nine, it'll probably stop a 45. And we're gonna step back and go straight to the rifle and see how it does. All right, so I've got an empty energy drink can. This is really all I could find. So I'm just gonna shove this down to the inside of the boot as far as I can. And that way, when we're done shooting, we can pull that out instead of me just digging around in there with my hand. I can actually show you guys whether or not we got a bullet hole. And the 545 by 39 out of the AK-74. If this doesn't go through, I'll be shocked. <laughs> Well, since the boot is smoking like a chimney, I think it went through. <laughs> All right, so here is our entrance hole right there. Once again, very small hole because it is a very small bullet. And then looking in the inside, <laughs> you can see the smoke coming out of there, number one, but also the giant hole in our Red Bull can. So there's that. <laughs> Definitely went straight through both sides and oh yeah we got a big old hole on the back as well where it looks like it actually might have like kind of ripped down the side and then came out the back so Obviously, our steel toes are no match for a rifle bullet that's going 3,000 feet per second. We all probably expected that. But I gotta say, I am kind of impressed that they were able to stop all of the pistol calibers that we shot at them. I did not think that would happen. I thought it might be, you know, a 22 and maybe a 9 millimeter, but probably not. And it ended up stopping all three pistols with no problem. Both of them did. Um, so that was actually pretty cool. Obviously, the rifle, like I said, ripped straight through them, which we all knew was gonna happen but they are bulletproof when it comes to pistols and that is pretty cool. All right guys, that is gonna do it for me today. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and head back inside. If you can't tell, I'm sick today and it's been cold and raining on me the whole time I've been out here. So uh, once again, I'm an idiot <laughs> and I'm probably gonna be sick for a really long time because I keep doing stupid stuff like this. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I can keep this one under like five minutes. That was my goal with this video. I didn't want this to be some 10 or 15 minute video, um, but we were out here a little longer than I thought we would be. Like I said, I thought we would do maybe one or two shots, prove the steel toes couldn't stop any bullets, and then be done. But we ended up getting all the way up to the rifle that I didn't even think we would need. And it was actually pretty cool. But hopefully I can keep this one kind of short for you guys. So if you guys did like this video, please let me know in the comments section below. If you have any other experiments that you would like to see me do, let me know in the comments as well. I do enjoy these kinds of videos for some reason. They're just really fun to make. So as always, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can visit my Patreon link in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. It. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.